today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about some confusing and important signs which would really help you in your exams so now any further ado let's get started nikolsky sign it is seen in pemphigus familial benign chronic pemphigus and recessive form of epidermolysis bullosa loss of epithelium due to rubbing resulting in raw and sensitive surface Auspit sign it is seen in psoriasis if the deep scales are removed one or more tiny bleeding points are disclosed Hygomonoski sign it is seen in congenital syphilis characterized by irregular thickening of sternoclavicular portion of clavicle here in the picture you can see the right side of the clavicle as well as the left side of clavicle with irregular shape cross your sign it is seen in tetany in case of hypoparathyroidism crossios is the appearance of carpal spasm often application of pressure on the arm by inflation of the sphygmomanometer cuff schwastic sign it is seen in tetany tapping at the angle of the jaw stimulate the facial nerve and causes twitching of the muscles of the face on the same side battle sign it is seen in subcondylar fracture and fractures involved in base of the skull it is characterized by ecchymosis in the post auricular region over the mastoid process urine sign it is seen in lefort 1 fracture remember lefort 1 fractures are also known as urine's fracture so urine's sign is seen in lefort 1 fractures and ecchymosis is seen near the greater palatine foramina raccoon's eye it is a useful fracture indicative of basilar skull fractures The condition is seen as periorbital ecchymosis from subconjunctival hemorrhage which occurs secondary to blood dissecting from the disrupted skull cortex to the soft tissues of the periorbital region. Hanging drop sign it is the indicator of orbital floor fracture it is due to herniation of inferior oblique and inferior rectus muscle into the antrum it is best demonstrated in water's projection murphy sign it is seen in cholecystitis how you will see the murphy sign first ask the patient to exhale examine of places hand below costal margin on the right side at the mid clavicular line and the patient is instructed to inspire tinnel sign it is used earlier as an indicator of the start of nerve regeneration it is elicited by percussion over the divided nerve which result in tingling sensation the part supplied by the peripheral section cluster of jewel sign also termed string of pearls or rosette sign It refers to an early stage of chronic bullous disease of childhood when new lesions appear at the margin of older ones resembling a cluster of jewels. Flag sign it refers to horizontal alternating bands of discoloration in the hair shafts corresponding to period of normal and abnormal hair growth. These signs are seen in patient with nutritional deficiencies such as quashiorcor and with certain medications such as intermittent high dosage of methotrexate or following chemotherapy. Patient with ulcerative colitis also manifest the flag sign. Necklace of Cassel. It refers to hyperpigmentation occurring on the neck owing to pellagra. which is seen in niacin deficiency gorlin's sign it is seen in ehler danlos syndrome it is used to describe the ability to touch the tip of the nose 
with the extended term thanks for watching see you in the next video